don't teach me about the birds and the bees when I was a little kid. I was a voracious reader and I figured it out when I was 8, reading a Charlie Brown encyclopedia. But what my mom did teach me was to be wary of wolves. Be it strangers or family, they can morph into big, bad wolves. 你要小心陌生人如果陌生人给你糖纸或给你礼物你可以接受吗不可以不可以接受陌生人给你的东西还有如果陌生人去摸你的身体动你的胸部你的大腿这些可以接受吗不可以不要告诉爸爸妈妈
One lady I knew had a father who molested her younger sister. Ever since she knew, she became more worried of her father. Once, when she was sleeping, her father came up to her bed with the pretext of covering her with her blanket. She woke up in time before anything could happen. I also heard of a real-life story where all the three daughters were molested by their father. It was someone that I knew. None of them, not even one of them, told their mother. One day, the father died at a work site due to a crane accident. At his funeral, the eldest daughter said coldly to his dead body that she would now forgive him, given that he had died in such a horrible way. But why do you think in the first place he died such a horrible death? To all parents out there, as you send your children to one enrichment class after another, please do not neglect to teach your children about oaths. This is the first step towards protecting them from harm. Stories are a powerful medium for children to learn about topics that are not easy for us adults to talk about. And here are some resources I highly recommend. Singapore Children's Society published this picture book, June and the Autopus. It is a book on body safety to help us broach the topic of child sexual abuse with children. June, a young boy has a secret. It is about Uncle Mok from the neighbouring village who has come to help Ma and Pa. June is happy that Uncle Mok has taught him how to swim, but there is something that Uncle Mok does which gives him nightmares. Should he confront his fears and tell his parents what Uncle Mok did to him? Will they believe him? This book also aims to help children identify when they are being sexually abused and to be comfortable about speaking out to another adult. The second book I recommend is Hu Die Duo Duo. I ordered this Chinese picture book from Taiwan Bokelai, an online bookstore. Duo Duo is a happy child. He likes to play Dangchou Qian, but he also likes to watch birds fly. Until one day, the sky is clear, the sky is shining, and the rain and the thunder are coming. This is a monster. He doesn't want to talk to his mother. He's a little monster. He's always trying to get his mother out. 只是不管到哪里，换一双还是会找他。你看到朵朵开始不高兴了。妈妈偷了客人的钱，如果你把游戏的事情告诉别人，我就叫警察来抓住你妈妈。这是一个教孩子保护自己，避免遭受性侵害的绘本故事，更是一本协助大人面对孩子遇到熟人性侵时该有的知识、态度、能力，与拿捏靠近受伤孩子速度的好书。性教育应该要从家里开始。购买《蝴蝶朵朵》还会附赠这本应用指导手册，适合大人在共读绘本之前或之后与孩子进行完整的对话与讨论。Apart from June and the Octopus, Singapore Children's Society has also launched an app that is available on both Google Play Store and the Apple Store. It is an extension of Singapore Children's Society's existing Kids Leave I Can Protect Myself Sexual Abuse Prevention Program. This app teaches body safety skills, helps children differentiate between good and bad touches, and teaches the not rules to say no, walk out, and tell a trusted adult. The app provides insight into children's sexual development, tips on recognizing sexual predation, and information on what to share with children about sexual boundaries. There are also interactive quizzes and resources, including videos on broaching topics that may be uncomfortable. Our children must be skilled in handling unexpected situations whereby their body safety is being compromised. Do not assume that it will never happen to your children. If it does, I hope for the good of your common sense that you will do what is right for your child. Do not sweep things under the blanket and jeopardize your child's emotional sanity for the rest of his or her life. Bad things don't just happen to little girls, they happen to little boys as well. Hence, both little girls and little boys should be educated on body safety. If you fear in your protective duty as a parent, the first adult that a child can trust, you too will not escape from the clutches of punishment. If you are a oof in sheep's clothing watching this video, my advice to you is to stop what you are doing right now and repent immediately. Because at the end of the day, you may think that you have gotten away with your evil deeds. But the fact is, you have just hurt yourself because you too are also a victim of your own sexual desires, destroying you as well as innocent children. Even if the police is unable to arrest you, nobody escaped from karma. The consequences of your evil deeds will always return to haunt you in this life, next life, next next life, until the people that you hurt truly forgive you and have gotten their revenge 
or if you truly repent and never to repeat your mistakes again. 天知地知，你知我知，何谓无知？善报恶报，直报速报，终须有报。阳间观行虽幸免，因私法网总难逃。